later. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Running with the devil. Yes, we are. Running. We'll be right back after this. <clears throat> is, it, is that actual Starbucks that you're eating in there? No. Is it? No. Have you ever noticed the lo the logo on Starbucks? It's, I call it the Porno Mermaid. Yeah. Because uh -huh. they only have they don't have that's a two tailed mermaid. Starbucks is really not in the coffee business; it's in the milk business. You know that? No, I don't. Is that what is that what they charge for? <clears throat> yeah. Most of it's with a lot That's of half and half. Milk. It's in the milk business. It's just like McDonald's is not in the burger business. They're in the real estate business. Because when they give you a, a franchise, you got to pay the rent. And with that, they, they buy the property and they sell the burgers. But, but they, at the end of the day, they own all the properties. It's very clever how they... How they the uh, property made out of burgers? Huh? Yeah, no, no, because the, the burgers <laughs> are as well in prime be. locations. <laughs> the spots are in prime locations. Might as well be. You know what? That's a good subject to start. Twist the logo away from there. What was our original recording deal on records? Because most people don't really know what happens behind records. What's really a producer? What's really, oh. uh, well, what's really a mix? What's really, I know uh, what they called it. <laughs> The, they call it a Motown deal. Okay, <laughs> go ahead, man. Just, just which show, was what, as you remember, which was, I'll do it, and then you do it. Which Al. was an eleven-point deal. What's, what do you mean by point, eleven points? Yeah, that's that's that we didn't find out until much much later. That a point is one percent, not of a hundred percent, but one percent of ninety percent. And the basis for that was came from in the old days when seventy-eights were delivered. Upon delivery, approximately 10% <laughs> of the product broke. So they paid you on 90% of the delivery. Oh, not, if you watch Boardwalk Empire right now, yeah, yeah, yeah. 1920s, those are acrylic records, yeah. really heavy, breakable ones. My father gave me a collection of Al Jolson, man, yeah. on 78s that I actually broke. They fell from the desk. And yeah. They're priceless now. I'm killing myself, you know, but they broke into pieces. And one out of 10 of those broke. In 1924. So you're not getting paid on a buck. You're getting paid on 90 cents. Records and look so like CDs, but they're bigger. So it's one, <laughs> one penny out of 90 pennies is a point, basically. Okay? Now, we had an 11-point deal, and three points went to Ted, our producer. The producer. Okay? Ted still makes more money than I do on those first two. Oh, yeah, he makes more than all of us. But he's still Ted. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, okay, so that leaves eight. Out of the eight, we had to pay agents, attorneys. Uh, well, the whole thing was a loan. It was it, like oh, an yeah, 18 yeah. percent loan. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, the band, yeah. the band, if I remember That's right, uh, got to split. I think three points by the time we were done. I think we split a dollar and 15 cents between the four of us. And don't forget. And then paid for everything. Yeah. But don't forget yeah. the weekly check of $83.83. Remember, we used to go. Oh, right. That's how we nailed our first uh, uh Remember? Oh, Cru wait, don't, no, 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 don't oh, okay. say the name. No, we'll, oh, sorry, okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. We'll, we'll blank the name. Our, our first beep okay. accountant, because Dave and I went to City National Bank in uh, the heart of uh, Financial District. What is it? Century uh, City. Century City. And uh, we we walked in the way we dress. And of course, everyone there wears suits and ties. So immediately, we walk in with a check and the woman looks at us and went, uh, hold on, I better check the signature card here. Because, you know, where the, you know, whatever. Because well, remember we what we looked like too yeah, at yeah, the yeah. time. Compared to in the times, we were, we're still upsetting though, most people. Compared Imagine to the normal banking, when we meant people. to be upsetting, <laughs> we don't mean to be upsetting now. That's maturity. <laughs> With Ted now. <laughs> Anyways, so the woman looks at us and she goes, oh, "Excuse me, I'll be right back." And uh, you know, you see her huddling with some other people, looking at a, at a signature card. And finally, Dave and I went, "Hey, excuse me, can we see that card?" And lo and behold. Besides the four band members' names on it, there was an attorney's name, there was our manager's name, and uh, um, half a dozen Everybody. other, the yeah. Three Stooges, Darth Vader. Now, what a bunch of idiots. Yoda. Because they were ripping us off at a, time, Hitler. at a time when we were only making $83.83 .83 a week. They should have waited. 
Oh, but here's the best part. Here's the best part. We were we were looking. We were a combination of Mad Max, Road Warrior at the time. Remember, we were, I was wearing the black leather chaps, and Al had the leather straps on the drums and stuff. Remember, and the only place that we could find that was at the Pleasure Chest, right? The right. sex store that was famous on yeah. uh, Santa Monica Boulevard. I believe it's still there. Or, or, or Hollywood Boulevard. It was one or the other. Santa Monica down by uh, yeah. This is this is way back. This now today you get this every little kid imitating a Katy Perry in uh, video is wearing a spiked thing. But back then the only place you could find it was in that store. Yeah, and we went down to buy a pair of black leather shafts and some other stuff. Everybody is where you got the spiked collar and stuff like this. All the bonnet and, stuff. Yeah. yeah. And we go walking into the back, and guess who's standing there buying sex toys? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't mention his name either, can we? <laughs> that was the guy from the bank. <laughs> and, and Using our money! Yes! Yeah. Do you think? What do you think he bought with my 80 bucks? <laughs> it's the first, it's, that's the first uh, gift I'll approve of. I have to ask his buddy. <laughs> Ooh, that's going to hurt in the morning. <laughs> and then it went from bad to worse. Yeah, we toured for a year. And they still owed a million dollars or something like that. We, we, toured, we owed a million dollars. We, we went platinum. We toured for a year. We came back, and Warner Warner Brothers. Can I mention that Warner Brothers told us uh, that we owed them two million dollars. And, and on so, top of that, we owed them another record. Yeah. And it was the end of the year. We had three three weeks to deliver another record. So I went to Ted and I said, Ted, let me get something straight here. We sold a million records. We toured for a year, and we owe you guys two million dollars. So if we had done 10 records and sold 10 million records, we would have owed you $20 million? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> and he kind of looks at me and goes, Why yeah, are we sort doing <laughs> Why are we doing this? <laughs> and on top of that, it was a two-record-a-year two deal. That was like Beatle time, 1960s oh, yeah. Yeah. level stuff. So we had three weeks to record another record, and boom, we went straight out on tour again. Did we do it within oh, yeah. three weeks? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. When did we have the second batch of material done? I remember it was written on the road, man. I remember we did like a forty-song demo that made it onto the internet, in bits and pieces at this point. But did we write Not material? Much. Oh on yeah, the yeah, road? yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I always, I always did. And did we learn it in the studio, or did we actually practice it up before we went? There, into put it this way, Van Halen. I think we may, have, we may have practiced it for about a week at your house. Yeah, that but I remember amazing. it's like. The first record took about a week to seven days to do. The, the second record took about three weeks to do, because that's all we had. We had to deliver that record before the year end. But why uh, did records used was, to take so little time back then? And now, with that, there has never been a single wasted moment. For example, it took us about nine months, and against a whole lot of political adversity and a lot of nonsense, admittedly, to make this record here. Mm -hmm. But uh, we didn't waste a single second. Going into the studio, we didn't waste a single second during the mix. We didn't waste any time on our own. How did we get, and most people, most of our colleagues as well, how did we go from, it took, well, first off, you played all the first record songs in the clubs, but from the second song, second, yeah, right, but from I, three I was, weeks to nine months. But I was going to say, the second record, uh, <coughs> those songs were not, uh, there were very few taken from the demo, from the original demo. They were all new songs. I remember it being an extreme labor. I, I remember yeah, it yeah. being a lot of hard work compressed into a short period of time. I remember you weighed something like 126 pounds. Hey, I'll weigh 127 now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's kind of like the difference between a play and a movie. You know, a play has the whole story. It has everything that, the, that you need to tell a story, and it's over in from when, from the time when it starts to when it ends. <laughs> But the preparation for it, or that compared to a movie, which is the same as making a record, is a lot more involved because they can, you know? We and can now it, take two days to listen to the kick drum, and that's what they do. That's what a happens. Lot, a you know? lot it's, a very, it's a very different rhythm, uh, the way records were made, depending on what, when, when you were looking at it. The 80s was a specific time, the 90s was a specific time, but the band always did its best when we were just allowed to walk in and play. You know, and record the band while they're playing. So it's like a snapshot of the time. I don't know if it's better. 
I well, I didn't say it was I, better. I, I'm, I'm just saying that's <laughs> that was the, the difference in the process. I, 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 now that we have the possibility to go back and comp vocals, for right. example, mm -hmm. and to, I'll tell to you, listen this, to it sentence is worse. by sentence. Traffic is worse. Takes well, longer to get here. <laughs> that is... That is <laughs> Well, you're talking about uh, the whole world has changed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why everything takes longer. Okay. But what you're saying, sentence by sentence. That's, that's, what, that's the way most people do their vocal, and most people don't realize that you'll go in, you'll sing the same sentence 25 times, and right. a producer then, by and large, right. will go in and select words, not just the whole sentence anymore, but uh, three words from this, and then two words from version number seven, and then the remainder from version number 14. And all of your biggest artists do this. I all of I've done it. Um, does that make for the best of the best performance, or does that uh, take away from the spontaneity? Because it was spontaneous all 14 times you sang it. I mean, it took you 20 minutes to sing it 14 times. Yes, you can be spontaneous for 20 minutes. Those of you who've been married for longer periods of time know exactly what I mean. Uh, Al it all Green, depends Al on whether you mean word, it or not. <laughs> Al Green did word for word. Well, that's what I mean. Spontaneous yeah, right? yeah. is that you mean it. It's yeah. not spontaneous. Right, if exactly. You're yeah. Fabricated yeah. and you're just trying you to You got to mean, mean it. That is all spontaneous. Yeah. Well, after 20 minutes, I don't mean anything. Right. <laughs> 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 That's all relationship for me. <laughs> but it's interesting. Sunday. It's interesting. You, <laughs> it's interesting that you bring up the what has changed because I'm thinking, you know, the 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 music. You know, we're always playing at the same time. I do very little overdubbing. Ta-da! So what has changed really? It's like Wolfie, Alex, and I. We play at the same time. I solo on the same track, generally. All of my vocals. Nothing's really every, changed. Everything that you Don't actually blame the guys behind the window. Everything that you spend <laughs> I, I money on <laughs> for my vocal is first and third version. Virtually everything I sell for a living is within the first three takes. I've done twenty-seven takes, but yeah. inevitably the ones you goes, end up using are usually the first ones. Before you think yourself past genius, yeah, yo, you got a good question there. What does take? It's just more efficient technically, technically yo, yo. yo.